Oh. All right. So now let's go and take a look at a, a problem like this. So again, we don't have a triangle that for to create, so we have to go and create our own triangle. So I'm roughly going to draw something that's going to be close to 90 degrees. So we'll call this A. And we'll say this is 85 degrees. Then over here, we have A equals 15. And then I'm just going to kind of pick what B is going to be. I'll say B is over here. So B equals 25. So this will be C and then little c. All right. So just go ahead and try to construct the triangle as best you can. Can you guys please put those away? Jacob, put those away, like fully away. No, and then you could also turn around. Jacob? OK, cool. So now we have A equals 15, B equals 25, A equals 85. Um, so now we can just apply our law of sines. So I have 15 over 85 equals 25 over the sine of B. I didn't add the signs. So we have the 15 over the sine of A, or sine of 85 degrees, equals 25 over the sine of B. So now let's just go ahead and apply, obviously, our work through our. So we could say the sine of B is going to equal 25 times the sine of 85 divided by 15. OK? So we do 25 times sine of 25 times the sine of 85. 85 sine times 25 divided by 15. And what we get is the sine of B equals 1.6603. All right. So now we need to take the inverse of this, right? To find B. The sine of your angle equals 1.66. So now we need to, again, be able to evaluate for, um, evaluate for angle. So we say B equals the sine inverse of 1.6603. Now, when you guys were taking the sine, does anybody remember what the, in, the domain of sine was? Had to be between. Or I'm sorry, the domain. Yeah, the domain of sine. Remember when we graphed sine? Well, the domain of actually, the domain, I'm sorry, I was looking at the range. That was the range. The range was there, but the domain, the domain of your sine function had to be between negative 1 and 1. So what you guys can notice here is it's impossible for us to take the inverse sine of 1.66 because it's larger than 1. Go ahead and give it a shot. Your calculator is going to say error or not able to do. So therefore, we can say that this triangle is not possible. Calculator, calculator probably won't say not possible, just say error. Oh, yeah. Okay, and that's it. So when looking at a triangle, again, where we're given side side angle, I gave you one opportunity where you guys could see if there's one solution. And now here's an opportunity where there's no solutions.